Phlebotomy, Lesson 3.1, Heart Valves. The four valves in the heart help keep blood moving in one direction and help prevent the backflow of blood into the various chambers. There are two sets of valves in the heart, atrioventricular valves, consisting of the tricuspid and mitral valves, and the semilunar valves, consisting of the aortic and pulmonic valves. The rigid supporting structure of the valves themselves are tough fibrous rings called annuli fibrosi that provide a sturdy structure for the valves to function properly. Small leaflets or cusps of endocardial tissue form the actual opening and closing parts of the valves. The graphic on the next page illustrates the rigid structure of the valves as viewed from the top down. Imagine removing the top half of the heart or the atria to visualize all four valves from this direction. The ventricles would be situated below the valves depicted. The heart is displayed as if you were standing behind the heart looking down. Notice the rigid rings surrounding all four valves. These provide structure. The small leaflets in the middle of each valve are what open and close during each cardiac cycle. The heart's valves are composed of the endocardial tissue that lines the interior chambers of the heart. The AV valves, or your tricuspid and mitral valves, are held in place by papillary muscles and fibrous bands of connective tissue called chordae tendinae that contract to close the valves. Heart valves are usually referred to by their location. Atrioventricular, or AV valves, are located between the atria and ventricles. These would be the tricuspid and mitral valves. Think of it like this. There are four students in class. Their names are Tracy, Peter, Mindy, and Andy. There are two boys and two girls. It is easier to say boys when I want their attention rather than their individual names because I can group them together based on a common characteristic. The same principles are used when discussing AV valves and semilunar valves. They can be grouped. There are many ways to group these four people. All four can be grouped as students. The girls can be grouped together and called girls. The boys can be grouped together and called boys. The children can be classified by which row they are in. Just like the students in the previous example, the valves have individual names but can be grouped together in a particular group based on location or function.